So, where Check are we? Check it out. We're in check it out. And we stopped for lunch slash dinner at this casino. And Definitely it was dinner. <laughs> it's 7 o'clock. Oh, wow. Unless time, it yeah. might be 8 o'clock, depending. It's 7 o'clock now, so we had dinner here. But holy snapdragons, this was the most annoying casino. First of all, they didn't have liquor. Second of all, this was an old person bar. So they had all these like casino. really... Casino, sorry. This is an old person casino. So all we heard all through our meal was ring, 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 ring. Like someone's phone was going off. It was horrible. Eric enjoyed it though. Uh huh. <laughs> I love this area though. Look at it. Look, it's beautiful down here. Yeah. Oh, by the way, holy snap, it's raining. <laughs> and the hum hum humidity is like 80 or 90. It's probably more now. Probably 100 percent. And it's 70, 70 degrees outside, and it's pouring down rain. And it doesn't smell like Oregon rain. It doesn't smell fresh and clean and crisp. Whoa! Whoa. Did you get that? I think I did. Like I <laughs> wasn't. Oh my! Holy moly! Look at that house. Like oh my gosh! Is that a church? I don't know, but yeah, you should leave the camera on. We're gonna go take a little spin around this town. It definitely feels like we're truly in the south now, the way everything looks. Well, we're about to cross over into Arkansas in like 20 miles, so... But yeah, it's it going is, pretty good. It is really pretty. I can't believe it's raining. Like, That's where a smells. Civil War battle was over there, I guess. In that field. <clears throat> Yeah, there's supposed to be thunder and lightning until 10 o'clock tonight, so for the next three hours. And right now it's 97 All these little houses. percent humidity, Eric. 97 percent? Yeah, 97 percent. Yeah. We're about to go through the downtown so you get a look at that. Check it off. It's probably not even how you say it. <laughs> and that's proper, the proper way pronounced way is Chiquita. Upon IDing me, that we got our second. Y'all are a long way from home, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eric got a beer. She asked for ID. <laughs> they definitely have an accent here. Oh, yeah. And so I'm it's sure. It's getting real thick. Yeah. I'm sure they can recognize that we don't have their accent. Yeah, absolutely they can. I don't know which way to go, except if I think straight back to the, where I was, so I'm gonna just try that. But yeah, look at this cool little downtown. It's kind of reminiscent of some little downtowns that we have in our area. Yeah, it actually looks very much like it. Kind of Malala-esque in a way. Yeah, or even, even S. Takeda, actually. I feel stinky from being in that building, Eric. Really? Yeah. Was there smoke, or...? Yeah, people were smoking. Antiques. That was junk teak. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have antiques in Oklahoma, only junk teaks. Junk teaks. There's the high school. Truman Dixon Fieldhouse. Yeah, you're going the right way. We're heading to right towards the highway. The freeway. Sonic. Mm. Yikes, look at that gas price. 305. Yeah, that's really high. It's not normally that high down here. So you know you guys. Should be around 215. Yeah, Muskogee, or Muskogee, must be the big town in this area. So I've seen a few things alluding to that. Mm-hmm. Big old water tower. Yeah, 227, that's that's the gas price. It's more realistic. Okay, we're heading towards Fort Smith, and uh, about to hop back on the freeway. Mm-hmm. I'm just amazed that it's pouring. Yeah. It's kind of neat. I don't even remember seeing when it happened. Like, I know when we pulled up to that casino, the roads were wet, and I'm like, hey, look, the roads are wet. 
Yeah. We figured it was going to happen. I thought it was going to happen sooner than now, honestly. I'm surprised. It's the middle. It's the end of June. Yeah. Why is it raining? <laughs> I think that happens here. I think it's kind of common. I might be wrong. Is that why but... it's so freaking humid? Yeah. Dude, this place is so humid. It was at like 85% and it feels like... Okay, so our laundry room at our um, duplex doesn't have a... Um, window or anything. A window or a fan or anything. So after you do a couple loads, if you close that laundry room door, it gets really humid in there. That is what it feels like just everywhere out here. You just walk through it and it feels like it's full of, like you're walking through like this blanket or walking through like a heavy cloud of mist. <clears throat> but lately, um, at least so far, it hasn't felt bad because uh, it was only like 82, 83 when we first felt it, and yeah. now it's like 70 degrees, 69 degrees. it was pretty degrees. bad at 85. No, it really wasn't. I didn't think it was, I didn't think it was too bad, honestly. You said that you were having issues breathing. Though. That was back at the hotel where it was like, Oh, back that in was Texas. in Texas. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, Texas was hot. We didn't have any AC in our hotel in Texas. Yeah. By the way, that hotel turned out to be really gross. Man, down in the courtyard area, we went down for breakfast. And we knew that the floors were wet, like it sprung a leak, but it was like a, an inch of standing water. And I stepped into it thinking I, woo, I got that. I stepped into it and it covered my toes. It was stinky, sticky water, it was gross. And then. Tell them what happened. Well, you tell them, you're better at, you're, you do a lot more enunciations than I do. It was so, gross after breakfast because we had eggs and sausage for breakfast we took it back up to the room because they were out of coffee after breakfast we were packing up our bags to leave and as soon as we left our room and looked over the balcony whoa they were like pumping out of like the what is that the drain the, in the floor the drain. of the dining room I guess. they had like a hose they were sticking down that drain and it was spitting up this black water this black soily water right on it's black it was yo it was so gross so gross <laughs> um it smelled like a cross between like a really old like pond full of algae and like a little bit of sewage and ugh, it was bad it was really gross oh, what's this? Oh, man. Blue attire. Yep. Yeah. So the hotel overall, great price. I would stay there again because of the overall price tag. Like you can't beat forty dollars. You can't beat forty dollars a night. And it was nice. They had a really cool bar. You know, we talked about that already. Super kinda, cool bar. Yeah, was... The bed was comfy. Yeah. They had a nice TV, a refrigerator. Yeah. Bad parts. Oh, and they have the most things in a hotel room that we've seen this whole trip, which is a microwave, a fridge, coffee maker. Um, yeah. And a nice shower. Oh, and the and other an actually a nice shower, yeah. Yeah, everywhere else. And breakfast in the morning. And breakfast. So they were clearly going through renovations, and I think that's why they were such a cheap price, but... Yeah. It was, it was, it was nice despite the fact. They're going through renovations. I mean, as soon as you walk through the front door, like they've redone the, the floors, they've redone part of the walls, they've brought in like white leather couches, flat screen TVs, like Hobby Lobby like furniture. Super pretty in the lobby. And then you just keep on going in and it's to the unupdated area. Yeah. All right, well. Look at all the little cows in the trees, trying to get away from the rain. What are you talking about? Cows will love the rain. <laughs> I don't know if they do or not. I don't think they care. They didn't appear to care. Anyway, we're coming up on 10 minutes, so we should probably call it. It's all looking about the same. All right. Well, folks, Sturgill's out. out.